what's going on hashtag J ride reviews family got yet another epic review for y'all today today we'll be reviewing this 2020 Ford Expedition max limited <laughs> it's a lot there's a whole lot of names for a whole lot of truck I'm gonna step from behind these bushes so y'all can take a little quick look at it but we're gonna go over the exterior the interior and then we'll take it for a spin give you my driver perspective virtual test drive and then go from there I'm over here at Werner Hyundai Werner Genesis today. Thank y'all for your continued support. Shout out to Jay and the whole awesome crew. Come by and see them. I'll have all the information down in the description. Ooh, my nails dirty. But anyway, because I was cleaning my car before I came out here. All right, disclaimer. My nails ain't dirty on purpose. But anyway, let's step behind, step away from these bushes, and y'all can check her out. There she is. The XL version, right? Y'all check it out. Super excited to bring it to y'all. Y'all hang tight. Epic. E-P-I-C. Another one. All right, crew, so we're going to take a look at the exterior on this Expedition Max Limited. First things first, see all that chrome up there? Y'all check that chrome out. Chrome grill, got your fault lights. It's all halogen, but that's always a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And as we step around here to the side, you notice the extended lift. So this is three rows of fun for your family, your business, whatever you're into, whatever you got going on. And y'all come and check it out. So nice touches all the way around. You got the running boards that actually go back under the vehicle when you close the door. Nice touches there. You got some chrome speckled around here on the uh, window panes down there. Nice touches there. Come around to the back. You have LED turn signals, LED brake lights, all that good stuff. There's the max emblem as y'all can see. It does have a power lift gate. It does have reverse sensors. It does have a reverse camera. All kind of goodies on here. Nice touches all the way around. What y'all think? Come around here to the side. Got these big wheels on there. Nice. Touch. Look at that presence of that vehicle. How long it is. And there is plenty of leg room and cargo area even after the uh, third row. Y'all hang tight. All right. Just wanted to get y'all a look at the side profile real quick. One of the uh, employees was leaving out. So I just cut the video a little early prematurely. But like I said, nice presence all the way around. The only thing that I see that it doesn't have that I would like to see this one have is a, sun, a sunroof or even a panoramic with this. Uh, as long as this vehicle is a panoramic sunroof will set it off. But it's still well appointed. A lot of features on the interior. Exterior looks really good. Front sensors up here as well. Nice touches all the way around. Let's go ahead and hop in and uh, take a look at the exterior. I mean the, I'm about exterior. We already looked at the exterior. Duh, j Rod Reviews. Let's go take a look at the interior with an eye. Let's go. All right, let's look at this interior real quick. There's the running boards coming out. They go back in when you close the door. First things first, black leathered out in here. looks good. Heated and ventilated. Plenty of power adjustments. You got your uh, transmission selector there, your drive mode selector. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You do have a wireless charger down in there. Nice touches all the way around. The view lines look really, really good. These leather buckets look really, really good. Big center console for plenty of storage there. Nice touches, what y'all think? What do y'all think? Let's take a look at the second row real quick. All right, so here is the second row. Plenty of room here as well. You can see the leg room accommodations right there. You do have automatic climate control and all that stuff back here. Satellite radio, all that good stuff. You have some charging ports right there on both sides. Nice touches all the way around. And I'll show you how to get into the third row. Y'all hang tight. Getting the third row is pretty simple. Just pull this handle. 
the seats fold forward there and they also can fold up if you need them to but there's the third row plenty of leg room back there as well very spacious and even with the third row up you still have plenty of cargo area back there i'll show you that here in a second as well it's just spacious that's the key word for this one spacious space ish space us come see us come see the crew at werner hyundai werner genesis take this one for a spin after you check out this virtual test drive by me thanks for watching around here at the back you do have two options to open up this uh, tailgate so there's a little button right underneath here press that you can open up the glass right here just to get stuff in that way close that down or right here is the button for the power lift gate so you just press it one time whoa that thing come up quick so there you go it comes up nice speed plenty of cargo area so check this out this is where the third row up so imagine if you fold that third row down how much cargo area my bag looks small back here <laughs> so then you have power uh, folding seats right here you can do the third row left right all that good stuff stow and go all those different things on that side you got some some hooks here that you can use car uh, you got cup holders and all that good stuff on both sides plenty of storage for the third row passengers there's another look at the third row from up top nice touches all the way around this expedition is the max as you can see here is another look at the rear passenger compartment second row once again look at that leg room wow and then just pull this handle boom boom they fold forward boom boom you can also pull this handle right here on the top part of the seat here nice touches all the way up all the way around and like i said these are power operated but you can also do them manually and you can slide these uh the second row forward there's a bar down there you just pull it and push and pull all that good stuff nice touches last but not least passenger front accommodations power adjustments here as well nice materials throughout the massive screen for the infotainment system nice 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 let's go ahead and get ready to take this thing for a spinny spin spin y'all what y'all think huh you ready let's go all right hashtag j Rod reviews family we are going to take this 2020 ford expedition limited max 4x4 ecoboost twin turbo blah 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 for a test drive so i'm super excited to uh bring this one to you this thing is very well appointed we're going to go over some of the features here from the driver's seat and then we'll go ahead and take it for a drive so first things first it does have wireless charging so you can go ahead and put your phone on the pad here and boom she comes to life you have usb uh, charging ports right there as well you do have this pull cover that you can pull over it if you would like uh, you do have nice wood trim in here i like the wood trim you have your automatic transmission which is a 10 speed by the way uh, controller right here with manual capabilities you can shift up and down with these two buttons right here i don't know about all that but then you got your drive modes right here you do have sport you do have eco you do have normal you do have grass, gravel, and snow, a little bit more traction. You have, let's see, sand. You do have mud and ruts, and then you have your tow and haul. So we'll go just leave it in sport. You do have automatic start stop if you want to turn that off or on. Plenty of cup holders, plenty of space here in the center council with this removable tray, very deep uh, center council. You do have an old school uh, charging port old school kind of little plug in nice touches there soft touch materials here on the on the uh, center console you do have your cup holders for your rear compartment right there nice touches all the way around nice viewpoints all the way around uh nice touch leather here on the door panels you got contrast stitching right here you do have that nice wood trim you do have this nice door handle right here automatic up and down on all four you do have lo window lockouts right here you do have retractable mirrors if you're in a tight parking space because this thing is very big i have to tell you that the extended length it's wide it's tall it's long it's every you know all that stuff so anyway we'll pop those mirrors back out 
You do have three way memory seats right here. You have your defrost vent right here. You do have blind spot monitoring in the big side view mirrors. You do have a power fold seat control right here. You do have the button for the tailgate. You do have automatic headlights, fault light controls. You do have a electronic power brake. You do have adjustable pedals to go along with the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, which is a nice touch for adjustability for different drivers. You can set it for your different drivers with the three-way memory. You go into the gauge cluster right here. Very nice, it's got a big LED function right here in the middle. You got a bunch of different options. You got vehicle information, transmission temp, which is good when you're towing, all that good stuff. You do have your tire pressure monitors, your speedometer, and you go over, you got trip stuff here. You do have a navigation compass right there. You can go through different options here, your fuel economy, all that good stuff there. All right, and we go back over. There's vehicle information. Here's your trail uh, towing stuff. You got towing status, towing information, trailer light check. So it checks all the lights, trailer setup, connection checklist. Over here, you do have your off-road um, angles, your, your pitch, your yaw when you're going off-road. And then you got all of your different uh, systems here that you can, the settings for them. So you got lane keeping, you can choose your uh, gauge selection, pre-collision. So it uses the front sensors to uh, break or whatever, give you a warning for the front of the vehicle, active braking. It's all kind of goodies. You got driver alert, cross traffic alert, blind spot monitoring, all kind of goodies right here. This. I'm gonna tell you something serious to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the digital speedometer. You do have your oil temp, coolant temp, fuel, and then you also, because this is the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, you have a boost gauge on here. So you got your boost gauge over here on the right hand side. Nice touches all the way around, you cannot beat it. The view lines out are amazing. You do have this simulated leather up here on the dash with contrast stitching, looks good. Nice spot for your phone. You got your uh, tweeter right here in the middle for your system, radio system. Let's go into the infotainment, I forgot about that. So you do have a reverse camera with sensors and all that trajectory as well. Nice touches because this thing is, once again, a very big vehicle. You do have navigation. You do have different apps and stuff like that. Nice touches all the way around. I mean, it's got Sirius XM radio capabilities. Here's your climate control system right here. Nice touches right there, it's dual zone, so you can put the temperature for the driver and the passenger different if you need be. You do have a heated steering wheel, we'll go ahead and turn that on. You do have ventilated seats up here in the front, and you do have heated seats up here in the front. So, when I tell you this thing is very well appointed, plenty of room back there for the kiddos, for real estate, ride share, whatever you need this vehicle for, now, it's very, very let's capable. Get work. Let's get to work. I am working. So anyway, let's go for a ride and we will go from there. Y'all hang tight. All right, so one thing I forgot to tell y'all is that it is push button start right here. Forgot about that. So first things first, the V6 is very quiet. It's smooth. Wow. This does have a 10 speed automatic. So uh, my anticipation is, is that it'll accelerate good. Here's the turn circle test. Wow, I think turns around really good. And here we go. That's very well with acceleration for as heavy as this thing is. So we're gonna give you a different driver perspective. Caught me a red light here. I'll be right back with y'all. Y'all hang tight. So yeah, how does it feel driving in this Expedition Max in town? Once again, the first thing that you notice is its presence. It sits up really high. It's a very tall, boxy vehicle. The ride quality is very good. It's really quiet in here. I have it in sport mode, so it's kind of loafing around in the gears. Uh, this 10 speed right now, since you got so many gears, 10 gears in this thing, it's in six gear right now around 50 miles per hour. So it's just loafing around, even in sport mode. Uh, you do have lane keep assistance, so you can take your hands off and it'll just kind of keep you centered. As long as these two green arrows right here, right below the speedometer, are in the, uh, are in the green, see it corrected itself, that wasn't me. So that's a nice touch there when you're on, on the freeway. I wouldn't recommend that you do it all the time, but it does give you a little break. 
um, that's again the view all the way around as long as this vehicle is the side view mirrors are competent for for the size of this vehicle it rides good not much fuss as far as the uh, powertrain and that's what you get with this Expedition Max I mean it's it's a very big vehicle so it can be intimidating to some drivers um, but like all things you'll get used to it and uh, this nice touch is all the way around and it is a 4x4 so you do have two high that you can select or four-wheel automatic so it, uh, you put it in four automatic it senses, it senses slip and applies the uh, proper amount of uh, power to that particular wheel try to get grip going so nice touches there and that's why it has so many different drive modes so much capability even despite its size it has a lot of capability with the different drive modes with all the sensors and everything and the electronic four-wheel drive system so y'all hang tight all right, crew, we're gonna take the uh, big expedition out here on the highway, come up this uh, entrance ramp, give y'all a driving perspective where this vehicle, nine times out of 10 is gonna spend most of its life. I wouldn't say be off-roading in this thing, but at least out here on the highway, I do have it in sport mode, so we're gonna give it uh, acceleration test. It's pretty cool seeing that boost gauge going up and down. That's pretty cool. And uh, so here we go. competent acceleration smooth operation of the uh, of the v6 twin turbo v6 nice touches all the way around super smooth it's very quiet in here not much road noise not much tire noise just a uh, very quiet and competent vehicle so here's the ripple bridge test not bad at all that this floats right over it gives me and I know this is it's one of these statements that if you know, you know. It gives me Navigator vibes. The Navigator is based off this chassis anyway. The transmission, engine, choices, all that good stuff. And even though this is just the Expedition, uh, you definitely get the Navigator vibes in here. It's very smooth. Uh, the, uh, the ride quality is very, very good visibility is very very good it doesn't even seem like this vehicle is as long as it is but like I said just nice touches all the way around super smooth very nice touches and even even in sport mode it's in the ninth gear right now it's below 2,000 rpms at around 70 so that should help out with uh, gas, fuel economy, and all that stuff. Here's a passing punch. The boost gauge goes up. It gets around very competently. Nice touches all the way around. So yeah, she cruises right along. Even in sport mode, it's still uh, this saw it drop into 10th gear right now. So at 80 ish You're still below 2,000 rpms with that 10 speed automatic. So yeah, cool stuff And there's the blind spot monitoring I noticed when I went past that truck right there I saw the you know, yellow emblem in the mirror light up. So it does actually have the blind spot monitoring it's good stuff very very good stuff I like the ride height too so here we are coming down from interstate speeds want to give it a braking test Let's see how those feel Fords have always had a nice firm brake pedal and this is no exception not much nose dive good stuff y'all hang tight go make our way make our rounds back to the dealership Thanks for watching so far. So yeah, uh, we're headed back to the dealership. I would say this Expedition is very capable, very compatible, usable, all those different things, depending on what you need it for. Even for a, a family, a, a big family, this would definitely work for you guys. Today's Motivational Minute. 
Don't be afraid to accept chapters in your life when they end and when they begin. Um, for me, uh, this weekend, one chapter ends and another chapter begins in my life. And I'm excited for the change. I've been a little hesitant over the years to change, but with everything, don't ever restrict yourself from where you can go and how far you can go. So don't be afraid of change. Life is full of changes, good, bad, and the ugly. God is here all the way with us, no matter what the changes are. Even when we do wrong, he's still, we're still his child and he still loves us. So don't be afraid to change. Like I said, in my personal life, big changes this weekend for me, but I don't feel any way tired because life is about changes. So when we get ready to pull this thing back in here, nice touches all the way around. And um, if you can't beat it, join it. Enjoy the process. Don't be afraid and just keep it moving and things will work out in your, in your favor. So yeah, back to the old big expedition. I enjoyed my time with it. I'm sure you will too. My time is short. Your time can be forever. Uh, once you buy it and all that good stuff and enjoy it so here we are using the uh combination of the mirrors there's the reverse sensors kicking in and this nice high definition screen i wonder if these things are still made i know a lot of fours use the microsoft system which is very high definition by itself i'm not sure if they're still using microsoft or not but very high quality reverse care uh, camera the reverse sensors this vehicle is very capable for whatever you need it for i'm super excited to bring this one to you god bless you god keep you until the next time expedition max limited check it out once again we're in a hyundai wonder genesis thank you guys for letting me get this vehicle uh, for my time to do my video to do my work once again god bless you god keep you to the next time keep your head up don't be afraid to change that's what life's about Thank you.